This exam question is about the isothermal compression of an ideal gas. One liter of air, initial conditions 25 degrees Celsius, one bar, is slowly compressed at a constant temperature. That's a reversible isothermal process. Pressure volume work of 199 joules has to be applied. What is the volume of the gas after the process? What is the pressure of the gas after the process? And what amount of heat is released during the process? Well, for reversible isothermal expansion work of an ideal gas, we have derived the following equation. W equals negative N times R times T log of V sub F over V sub I. V sub F uh, meaning the final volume, V sub I meaning the initial volume, are the ideal gas constant. And here the temperature in kelvins. Using the ideal gas law, we may have determined the amount of moles of air, N, to 0.04 moles. We could use this value to calculate the product nRT, but we can also replace nRT by P times V and solve for the final volume V sub F. We obtain a final volume of e to the negative 2 times the initial volume V sub I or 137 milliliters. To calculate the final pressure, P sub F, we use Boyle's law. P times V is constant. Final pressure equals initial volume over final volume times the initial pressure. 1000 over 137 times 1, we end up with 7.3 bar. The first law of thermodynamics hold delta U equals Q plus W. For an ideal gas, the internal energy U only depends on temperature. This is Gay-Lussac's second law. And so for any isothermal process of a gas, delta U equals zero. This means Q equals negative W and the heat Q is thus negative 199. Joules. In this compression process, work W done on the gas is completely converted into heat Q. The corresponding representation in the PV diagram is a hyperbola. PV is constant. Thanks for watching.